please lower your prices, ma'am. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my July favorites. I'm lying a little bit because these are actually my May, June, and July favorites because I haven't done a favorites video since April. So there's a lot of products in here that I've been loving for more than just July, but I just wanted to call it July favorites because it is what it is. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do a ton of these kinds of videos. I also do a ton of product reviews, colorful makeup looks, such as the one that I'm wearing. So if that sounds like something that you are into, I would love to have you as part of my fam. And let's get into this video. I don't even know where to start. I have a lot of products. I think I did like my ranking my April favorites and that was like the last one I did. I went on vacation in May and like <laughs> the first part of June and then I just kind of like got overwhelmed with the amount of products that I had been trying out. So I gave up. We'll do palettes at the end. We'll start with primer, face primer. I have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This is a bomb primer. I actually really like it. There's a few people that I watch religiously that don't like it and I'm like, huh? I think this does a fantastic job of smoothing your face. I would say it is quite a pricey primer though. It is $17, $18 and NYX is getting to be one of those brands, those drugstore brands that I'm like, are you okay? Like, please lower your prices, ma'am, because you're still a drugstore brand. Like, I don't get it. But at the same time, I think this is well worth the $17. I usually use the Tatcha the Silk Canvas and I think this works the liquid silk canvas, sorry. I think this works just as well. In fact, I think I'm going to use them in an upcoming dupes video where I actually battle out the dupes because I want to see if it actually works as well as the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. I am wearing it today. It has a very interesting consistency. I would say it's a little thicker than the, the liquid silk canvas. It's not as creamy so therefore it's not as hydrating but it does a great job of smoothing out my face which is really all I look for because I have a lot of texture. I have a lot of pores. I just need that smoothing effect before I go in with foundation and this does a great job and a bonus is that it smells like marshmallow. It actually does. It does. I really have been loving this a lot. I do have a few foundations. I'll start with the one that I'm wearing today. It's not a new foundation by any means but it's a repurchase of mine and I actually tried it for the first time in a couple of years in my my summer get ready with me using all the products that you can get from look fantastic and this is the Cogendo aqua foundation this is a little bit pricey it's quite pricey actually i have the shade 113 here i love this it's so lightweight but it gives you a beautiful coverage even with just one layer you can build it up and it's quite buildable i would say it's medium buildable coverage i only did one layer today and it covered everything i have a couple breakouts i don't know what's happening I haven't gotten so many breakouts in a long time, so it makes me sad, but I really do love this stuff and I think it's a great summer foundation as well. I should have done my top 10 summer foundations because I have so many and there's some of them are skin tints, but some of them are actual foundations like this. I like using this when I'm doing like a more glam look in the summer because I'm not going to wear a tinted moisturizer with this crazy eye look. Like I just won't do that, but this is a bomb foundation. It is a little pricey though. I recommend to try to get it on discount. I do have a discount code with Look Fantastic, but I'll have it in the description box if you're interested. Now, if you want to go the opposite direction, <laughs> in terms of foundation coverage and finish i guess uh i have a great powder foundation that i've been loving this is the one size powder foundation this is so bomb i did a whole dedicated review i'll have it up in the eye if you want to watch it i'm not usually one for powder foundation i have really really dry skin but i have been loving this so much for the last few months even in the summer it's not as heavy as you think it would be but the best part about this is that it's so smoothing like literally pours who it smooths everything out it evens out the skin tone but it also doesn't feel like you're wearing very much so i guess it could be considered lightweight but i also use it to set over liquid foundation if i'm feeling like a little too dewy i did that today only in certain areas because i felt like my foundation was a little like whoa you look oily not dewy <laughs> type thing i love this as a setting powder as well it really smooths everything out i did order the concealer i have high hopes for that and i will be testing that out in a an upcoming video this is so good if you are not a powder foundation person i wouldn't be afraid of this even if you have dry skin i think you'll love it i'm not sure if i've mentioned this either i don't think i talked about this in monthly favors yet the dior powder no powder is so bomb this is the most lightweight powder you will ever get i have the shade one neutral i want to get the shade zero it's better for the under eyes today i did use it and i did notice that it's a little too dark for my under eyes it kind of like makes everything a little darker than i would like but it's the most smoothing powder it's so lightweight that you barely feel it it never looks powdery on the skin by the way neither does this this doesn't look like powder when i use this as a powder foundation it looks like a liquid foundation it's actually insane i typically only use it on my under eyes but i also have been loving using it over like cream products like if I put cream 
bronzer and cream blush and they're looking like a little bit like they need to mesh together i kind of take a big fluffy brush of this dior powder no powder and it smooths everything out and it blends everything together i really like this powder i know it's pricey it's actually cheaper than the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder which is really really surprising to me if you're in the market for a pressed powder i definitely recommend you check this one out i forgot to talk about brows so let's do that real quick where's my brow product don't you just love when you have a product in front of you and then it like literally grows wings and flies away and you cannot find it i literally can't find it and i just used it and that's making me angry but i don't want to sit here wasting more time trying to find it i was going to talk about the nyx lift and snatch micro brow pen pen thing whatever i don't know what it's called right now i would know it if i had it but anyway i think that this makes my brows look so good i like it more than the glossy brow flick that's saying a lot because i love that so so much i think i have the darkest shade because i want it to match my hair i wish it was a little bit more cool tone that's all but i think it does really perfect hair like strokes it has a really really nice fine felt tip to to get those perfect hair like strokes. I think the tip is actually much thinner than the brow flick. So I don't know. I love it a lot. So I wasn't talking about that. But whatever. We're moving on. I do have this product in front of me. This is the Nude Sticks Brow Boost and Set Gel XL. I tried this in the same video. It looked fantastic. Blah, blah, blah. This brow gel is probably the best brow gel I ever used. I can see why Kathleen constantly raved about it. It honestly sets your brows in place so well without making them harder crunchy. Which is exactly what I look for in a brow gel. Honestly, I love the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I just about had a heart attack my stupid mic wasn't even plugged in <sighs> i'll have to fix the audio for the rest of the video because i'm not going back i just noticed i think you can see it in my face when i noticed because i'm gonna leave that clip in there because why not i'm human we all make mistakes anyway i really enjoyed this brow gel i think it's great it's a lot of product it's gonna last forever what i love about it also is that it's clear it doesn't have a color i generally prefer clear brow gels because that way it doesn't mix with the color of whatever product you're using underneath the applicator is really interesting because it's really short and like i don't know the bristles are in such a way that, that like it separates your brow hairs and it doesn't get a lot of product on there. Like it doesn't release a lot of product when you pull it out of here, which I really like as well, which is a random thought, but like, I like everything about this. It's definitely become my new holy grail. I like it more than the Benefit 24 hour, which is crazy. I've loved that one for so long, but this is amazing. I also forgot to talk about this. This is the Morphe Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. This has SPF 30. I have the shade Glow 6. This is medium. I did do a whole dedicated video on this. In that video, I thought it was bomb. Let me just show you guys the consistency. It's pretty like thick, but also like not. It's very lightweight. Obviously it's a tinted moisturizer. It's very radiant and glowy and like it literally evens out my skin tone it's a very 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 sheer coverage but i really like it i think is a little bit overpriced it actually what i love about it is that it dries down it actually doesn't stay feeling wet which i like but it still looks really luminous which is amazing it's probably one of my new favorite tinted moisturizers for sure i think it does a great job of just evening out your skin tone giving you a really nice glowy look if you have oily skin, stay far away from it because you're not going to like it for sure. Okay, let's talk about a bronzer I've been loving. I did do a whole dedicated video on the new Kylie re-released products because I wanted to compare from what I remember of her old products, her old formula, and compare it to the newer formula. And honestly, this was my favorite thing. Well, besides something else I'm going to talk about later on. This is my favorite thing that I tried. I think the bronzer formula is a thousand times better now. If you had her old bronzer and were like not a fan and were like skeptical, trust me, get it. I have the shade almond here it's a little dark when i'm not self tan but it's okay i really enjoy this formula this is made in italy so you know everything that's made in italy is just so luxurious i like the shade as well because it's pretty neutral you could use it for bronzing up the skin or just chiseling out the cheekbones as well i think that this is such a stunning formula it goes on super smooth it blends out easily i don't know i just love this bronzer so much this was definitely a standout product from that video i gotta quickly talk about the jacqueline rouge romance this is the matte blush palette so this is the warm toned palette I'm a huge fan of blush palettes because you have so many options that you can go with. Today, I use the shade Boudoir. A lot of these shades are very, very pigmented, so you have to take a very light hand. And some of these, you're like, oh my god, the, that's just way too dark for you. I make them work anyway. I don't care. Like, I take a really, really light hand. I take my time blending it out, and it looks really nice on the cheeks. They're so smooth. They're gorgeous. These are now available at Ulta if you're interested. I definitely recommend this one. If you like more pink tone blushes, I definitely recommend to check out the other palette. I have a couple highlighters to talk about. I'm going to talk about the one that I'm wearing first. This is from Lottie London. 
actually tried this a couple weeks ago so it's only been in my life a couple weeks but honestly where has this been they sell this now at walmart they also sell it at ulta i'm pretty sure this is the lottie london shimmer squad highlighter palette this is what it looks like it's kind of cheap cardboard packaging but i really love the formula of this they're so buttery and smooth you have so many options again i'm a fan of highlighter palettes they're not like chalky or anything they just give you like an overall like metallic glow i really really enjoy i'm actually wearing the good girl which is the like more champagne pinky tone type shade but i've worn them all and honestly they work for my skin tone they work when i'm self tan that's what i love about highlighter palettes they just are very versatile you can mix and match shades if you want you could do the same thing with the blush palette by the way no one said you couldn't it doesn't emphasize the texture it doesn't look like a stripe on your face it just like gives you an overall healthy glow and this is so affordable i've been loving this so much on the opposite end of the spectrum though we have the pat mcgrath this is the divine glow highlighter in the shade golden nectar this released with her divine blush collection i love the formula of this highlighter so much i also love the shade it's a little dark like you might think that doesn't work for you that's a little dark for you you're so pale probably right this is so gorgeous though it's like a rose gold situation <laughs> the formula is just so stunning there's not like specks of glitter or anything you can kind of see the difference in in a uh, formula even in just the swatches i don't know if you guys can tell what i'm talking about these are a little bit more powdery but not in a bad way i still love them especially for the price point but look at them they're a little more powdery this is like so smooth it blends out so easily and it's just such a stunning highlight it has like a beautiful shift it's gorgeous on the cheekbones i love it let's talk about three palettes that i've been loving lately one of the standout palettes i have released in the last few months obviously is the glam light Michaela palette it's the palette i'm wearing on my eyes today i'm actually in the process of doing a five looks one palette so just look forward to that video because this tutorial will be in there i'm obsessed with the color story of this palette because you have your neutrals you have your colorful shades and the best part is that it's not just another boring rainbow palette the formula is fantastic these metallic shades are so bomb actually pretty much every shimmer is a metallic shade except for maybe new beige new beige is just a shimmer but i think that's the only one the rest are just very foiled and metallic it's just such a fun palette don't you think like the color story is fantastic you can create so many looks and the formula is great i want to try more from glam light this is actually my first eyeshadow palette that i tried from glam light such a great palette i love it and then i also have the BH Cosmetics Party in Puerto Rico palette. I actually featured this in my top 10 palettes for summer because look at the color story. It's so pretty. I just think that this is such a fun color story for summer. You can create a summer sunset look. I love these pinks, oranges, the reds, which actually is more like a pink, but whatever. I know a lot of Puerto Ricans don't really love that this color story is is what it is they just expected like turquoise blues that's honestly what i think of when i think of a caribbean island but that's not what bh had in mind so it's okay i just think it's a really fun summer palette they went with the traditional like sunset type island vibes color story which i'm okay with the formula of this is amazing i haven't tried bh in a very very long time and i would say that they've upped their quality so much this palette is not very expensive i think it was 17 dollars. i forget exactly but honestly look at how they swatched even like that was barely putting any pressure down and the swatches are fantastic i think the color story is fun and you can make it pretty wearable as well you could do an everyday look with it or you could do a pop of color or you could do just a summer sunset there's so many looks you can create with this palette the formula is fantastic and bh is is just such a great affordable brand i highly recommend them so great oh i forgot to talk about this i'm all over the place i have a concealer favorite this is the armani luminous silk concealer this is a fantastic medium coverage concealer it actually looks luminous as the name the name states i do set it because otherwise my concealer would be gone in like an hour this i've been loving lately especially in the summer because i don't want anything too heavy i love pairing this with a tinted moisturizer because it gives a little bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer would but you can really conceal like your under eyes but it's still gives such a nice glow under the eyes even with powder over it it's still you see that luminosity it covers everything which is amazing i love it a couple of lip products first the other product that impressed me from my kylie video was the lip kit i think that she has upped her formula in the lip kit as well they're not as drying this is what i'm wearing on my lips today i actually have worn them the whole day eating like two meals and they're still on at the end of the day without flaking without looking really dry without my lips looking disgusting i think she has upped her formula i used to hate the matte lip kits i'm sorry they were just not for me i like the velvet ones a little bit more because they weren't as matte obviously but these are such an improved quality this is the shade kylie by the way if you're wondering i like the ombre effect it gives the liners a little bit darker the liners also very 
very creamy, but not as creamy, I feel like, as like ColourPop, which, I mean, they kept that consistent. They were really creamy to begin with, but they were almost too creamy where the lip liner would fall out of the tube. Literally super opaque. They go on super smooth and not patchy, which is amazing. So I love that. Okay, I've got a couple of random favorites. They're still beauty, but they're kind of random. So I have to talk about this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio. I love this so much. So this is aluminum free. So it is a natural deodorant and it smells like the Bum Bum Cream. It's got a little bit more of like a powdery scent like than the Bum Bum. So it's a little less strong obviously it's not gonna be like you're putting bum bum in your armpits like no what i love about this is that it works if you know me you know i struggle with bo i talk about it all the time on my channel i've actually like stopped using my kosas one my beloved kosas one because i've become immune to it i become immune to deodorants quite often and i have to switch them out and i don't know what it is so i'm glad i found another one that worked for me because i did try the kopari ones and they just don't work for me at all like i smell worse than when I don't have any deodorant on when I use the Kupari ones, which is really sad. So I really like this. I usually don't like a stick deodorant like this because it leaves your clothes like all white and stuff, but whatever. I love this so much. If you're looking for an aluminum free deodorant, I highly recommend you check this one out. They are a little more pricey than like your typical deodorants that you could get at the drugstore, but I love these so, so much. And then the last thing that I want to talk about real quick is Kaoli, a fragrance from Kaoli. This is the Kaoli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This has pink pepper, which is my favorite note of all time. Oh, it smells so good. This is like my perfect everyday summer scent. I would say this is a pretty sweet scent. So if you don't like sweet scents, you're not going to like this. This is one of their intense perfumes. So it's kind of intense. What I'm sad about is that it doesn't really last as long as I would like for it to. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm wearing Kaoli Vanilla, but I actually like layering these. So you know what? I'm going to spray some, but I'm just really sad that it just doesn't last as long as I would like for it to. I love pairing these two together though. They make the best. They complement each other so well. This was actually a blind buy i bought it because of the pink pepper note and i was like i know i'm gonna love this i think it's like i said it's perfect for daytime in the summer it's the perfect every day like you're going to the beach you're chilling with your friends during the day it's not like an evening elegant fragrance it's a little spicy but sweet it's fun and flirty you smell the pepper like really kind of strong at first it kind of wears off like i said it's not as long lasting which is so frustrating but it's okay it has a little bit of rose but i don't really like the scent of rose so it's not like overpowering either so it doesn't smell too florally it smells more spicy than florally i would say so that was everything that i've been loving throughout july slash the last few months let me know what you've been loving throughout july i would love to know and yeah that completes this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye i think that this i think that's the first is not a new it's like <laughs> bruh Anyway, I really enjoy this. Anyway, I really enjoy this. Anyway, I really enjoy this. This is the Morphe. This is the Morphe Glow Stunner tint. I don't know. This is this is was this was this was definitely a